Hello families. Today, this, this week, we're gonna be working in Volcano Week. So that's gonna last from Monday to Friday. And you're again gonna be able to find all of these things on Canvas. Um, this week in reading, our goal is to apply grade level phonics. And for this week in particular, we're gonna be working on Y sounds that sound like vowels. So as we know, the Y sound at the beginning of words is Y, like yellow or yak. Um, but at the end of words, it can change between I sounds and E sounds. And what we're teaching this week is that one syllable words like cry, at the end of that is, is an I sound. And two syllable words like party have E sounds. And so something to support your children with this is just come up with a bunch of words that end in Y and maybe a few that begin with Y and see if they can differentiate between the sounds to find the correct word. This week in math, we're adding and subtracting within 100, and we're doing that within word problems. So in Canvas, we have an anchor chart that shows students how to do a three-read um, strategy, and we've done that all year long. So as the students read it the first time, they ask, what is this problem about? As they read it the second time, they say, or they say, yeah, who or what is it about? What are we trying to find? And as the last one, we say, what's important to know? And they use those pieces to solve the problem. So they fully understand the word problem before they try it. Um, I realize that a lot of you probably know the standard algorithm of stacking numbers and adding them up. Um, if you show your child how to do that, I highly suggest that you also have them draw it because um, as we get further into numbers, when students have numbers like 27 and 14, these two numbers generally start to look like this. Oops, if you can see that 311 because they're not quite understanding why they have to move that one over to the tens place. So we're really trying to hit base 10 numerals really hard, which means if it's the one place, there's only one number that gets to go there. And because it makes a 10, we move a 10 over. And your child will, if they have like this number, for instance, they would draw two 10 sticks, five, six, seven, and seven ones, and then one 10 stick, one, two, three, four, and four ones. And they would see that this makes a 10 and they would group it, cross it off and make a new one. And they would have an extra one left over. And this shows them that regrouping without just moving the one. They, it shows them why we're moving the one. So if you're gonna have them do the standard algorithm, also have them draw it just to create those connections. Um, this week, we're gonna be writing an informational paragraph. It is the same type of paragraph as last week, except we're adding one extra detail. So at the end of this week, they will have five sentences instead of four. Um, and that's pretty prepping them for third grade. So in third grade, they're gonna be asked to write a paragraph about a lot of different kinds of things. Um, so being able to have a topic sentence, a concluding sentence, and details in between is really gonna help prep them for the following year. Um, and this year we're, or in this week, we are learning about volcanoes. So we have lots of read alouds, lots of art, um, lots of videos that kind of goes into depth of what volcanoes are, why they erupt, when they erupt, um, and lots of cool things like that. Um, if you look into the extras category in Canvas, at the end of every um, daily page, there is a do you want extra click here button. Um, if you click there, you're going to find lots of um, additional resources in Volcanoes, lots of additional resources for math and reading, and I'm trying to find some additional resources for writing. Um, but that's pretty much what you're going to be looking at this week. Um, please let me know if you have any questions.